Family Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We've got our six inch round gel press here. So we're gonna be using our elements, inks, and our brushes, and a collection of different stamps. So um, we're gonna start with Mulberry, and I'm going to ink up the Brea and I'm going to just take that up over the top of the gel press. Now I've purposely just faded that out so I've got more depth at the bottom there. Okay, and then using the graphite, and our smoothie, I'm just going to add a little bit more colour around the edge of the gel press. Okay, and then taking our fan brush that we've got here, and I'm going to just pick a colour. I think this is our which one's which? I think ah, oh, there's the Prussian blue. Uh, with a lot of water in it and I'm going to just flick that over the top and I just want some tiny tiny speckles so as you can see I just flick that first lot off and then I get some nice tiny speckles then. Okay, so I'll just pop that to the side and then taking some of our multi fairies card, this is the cream card stock and I'm going to pop that over the top and give it a smooth over. And let's see what we've got. Wow, colours in that are amazing. You never know what you're going to get it's always something completely different and usually a very pleasant surprise which is nice. So I've got our lovely acorn stamp here and I'm going to ink that up in the nocturne. Make sure that you've completely covered it and then let's just pop that down around about there. Okay, give that a good press, let that rest for a while. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to ground that now. So using one of our masks, I'm going to pop this down. And then picking a colour, we've got Twilight, which 
which is like a really nice deep blue and I'm just going to work my way up the acorn try to go round it rather than over the top this will just make it stand out that much more and there we go okay so taking our really nice fine paintbrush now we're going to go around the edge probably in the grey actually this is the graphite so I'm just adding a little bit of water to the lid and then I'm just working my way around and this will just make it stand out that much more again okay so if we want to take a little bit of the colour out to make it stand out even more um, then just use a little bit of water pop the water over the top and it will start pulling the colour out and then you just get a little bit of a tissue and just dab that off and you can see how that's pulled that colour out making it stand out that much more again and go back to my paintbrush and this time we're going to use some of the brushos just for that intensity of colour Okay, so I've got a little snail here and I'm going to ink up now in the Nocturne and I'm just going to bob him down around about there. And we've got a nice tiny stamp here I'm going to ink that up in the twilight a little foliage stamp and I'm going to just pop a few of those around like so and let's have a few stars as well and this time I'm inking up in the warm breeze and we've got a worded stamp here word dream so I'm going to go back to the warm breeze ink up and then I'm just going to pop that down just below there and then finishing it off I'm going to just add a little bit of green around the edge using the stencil now so just a little bit of that lovely leaf pattern and 
around the edge. Check that out. There we go. And I'll do the same the other side. And then lastly, I'm going to use the Twilight just to go around the edge. And the darker that edge, the more it pulls your eye into the center. lightness and there we go well guys I hope you enjoyed today's demo thanks so much for joining me again today and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves You take care guys and we'll speak real soon. Bye for now.